To get the Google Play Store on the Fire Max 11 or pretty much almost any other tablet, there's four downloads and four or five steps you have to go through. Step one, go into settings, click on security and privacy, go to apps from unknown sources, and then on the Silk browser, make sure it says allowed on there. Allow from this source, right now it's enabled here. So once that's done, you're gonna wanna go into your Silk browser, go to this How To Geek article, which I'll link down below, either in the, in the description and or comments section. This pretty much goes through everything and, and I do wanna thank them for making this. So there's four different downloads we're gonna have to install. So when you scroll down, I'd recommend for mine, I'm gonna download the Fire 7 12th gen, that's what I did. Even though it says Fire 7, I have the Fire 11, this is the latest version. And instead of just opening it in this tab, I open it in a new tab. And just to show you, to be clear, you're going to download somewhere here. And make sure it doesn't say beta at the end. So download the latest file, get through these ads. And some of these ads are really deceiving, by the way. They're going to have the download button somewhere here or there. Uh, ignore those. Do not press there. Okay, you're going to press here again. And then you're going to want to click download here, download APK. It's usually going to be in red, and I think the last one will be in blue. So you do this for the Google Google Account Manager, Google Services Framework, and then we also have Google Play Services, and then finally, we have the Google Play Store. Once those are done downloading, you're going to click on Files and just install these four in order, though. And first off, before that, you have to make sure you're going to be in Downloads. So you'll find these in Downloads, most likely, and then change the view to if it's like this you're going to want to change it to this because we want to make sure we can read everything because you have to install these in order as shown on how to geeks website so the first one you're going to download so you're going to install it based on these this gsf login is first so it's the bottom one then just gsf then android gms and then android vending so vending is on top gms is second or i mean fourth third second and first that's my order here and just make sure after you click download or install, you just click done. You can click continue, install, and then click done. Do not open any of these. Once that's done, you may see the Fire, the Good Play Store down here. And don't, don't open it just yet. You're going to want to restart your device by holding the power button. Press restart here. Once it's done restarting, finally, for some people, you may have to hold on to the Play Store. Click on app info and give it permissions. So... If, if you're not able to open it up initially, like this, everything's working, you may have to go into permissions and allow to see your phone and SMS stuff. I know it's, it's weird, but after that, it, it should be working. So the P Google Play Store is now ready to go. I got some stuff downloaded from here, and I'm so happy that this exists. I feel like Amazon should have included this in general because it's just the App Store is just garbage. I am using the Fire Max 11. If you're interested in seeing a full review video or, or overview overview video, man, I can't talk today. I'll have like a card or annotation around here. And uh, leave a like if you found this video helpful. And as always, thanks for watching.